Surprise, surprise, I bought more books. Did you guys really expect anything different from me? In my defense, these are books that are really stunning, that I'm excited to read, or are really special. So without further ado, let's get started. The first one that I have here is a minimalistic edition of The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. I've actually been meaning to read this book for a very, very long time, and when I saw this edition, I actually really fell in love with it. I really like how, like, pretty and stunning it is. So I kind of suck at saying like all these different names of the characters in this book but you basically follow Achilles who is the only character that I can't pronounce and Achilles makes a friend and it kind of goes through their life a little bit um, and then Achilles then has to go to like Troy to like save someone or something and um, yeah it's just like really intense, really cool and it's like this ancient mythology that people really like so it's definitely something that's up my alley and I just like hope that one day when I'm reading it I can pronounce all the names in it. So the next one that I've got is a hardcover edition of Catwoman Soul Stealer by Sarah J Maas and I am unashamed to say that the only reason I bought this in this stunning hardcover was because it came signed and anything that is signed I pretty much automatically buy and that's what I did with this one. The other ones that have been released you have got um, Wonder Woman by Leigh Bardugo and you've also got Batman by Mary Lou and now we have Sarah J Maas's one. I've only read Batman out of all of those and I wasn't a huge fan of it and I probably will read Catwoman woman at some point but it's not very high in my TBR and um yeah it sounds like it'll be pretty cool like from the premises it kind of sounds like Catwoman, Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn just like hang out and do really cool shit so yeah that kind of makes me feel like I should read it. Thank you so much to Text Publishing for sending me out Someday by David Levithan. This is the sequel to the book Every Day by him. I think it's actually recently been a movie or a TV show or something but it definitely had something happen with it and this is the sequel which I'm actually pretty excited to read because I was left with a lot of questions. I wasn't like a huge fan of Every Day so the premises of it is that like there's this thing that just wakes up in a different person's body every single day and they get to just be that person for the day and um, on this particular day A, who is their thing inside of these people, um, went into the body of a girl's boyfriend and he fell in love with her and he basically wanted to be with her so he would like go and find her when he's in different bodies and they have this like relationship happening and the writing was really really good in it but the actual plotline for me was just like, shouldn't you be at school? <laughs> so I don't know if you guys have me on um, any social media or whatnot but my cat recently had to get one of her front legs amputated and she got her stitches out today but she's just like over here just like being super adorable. Oh, this next one um, was definitely a fangirl moment for me. I actually saw an image of this somewhere on social media and I was like, please tell me that is real. And then I found out that it was real, so of course I ordered one. And that is Snow Falling by Jane Gloriana Villanueva, which is from Jane the Virgin. I don't know if anyone here is a fan of Jane the Virgin, but I absolutely love it. And this is the actual story that Jane wrote in the TV show, down to like all the different notes and stuff that she has at the beginning of chapters. And I'm really excited to read it. There's not many great reviews on it but I'm still gonna be trash for it. Next up is Meet Me at the Intersection. This is an anthology of own voices. Um, it is a Australian novel done by Australian authors and it is super super important. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about this because I will be doing a review video on this one for my next video on this channel so definitely check that out because this is like really really cool and I really Hope that we can get more books like this. Mirage by Samaya Dowd. And like I said, I bought a lot of pretty books. Like, this is like one of my all-time favorite covers. Um, and colors. So I'm really excited. Plus, I've actually read this one and it was really, really good. But I'll do a wrap-up video soon. So Mirage follows a young girl called Amani, And Amani is a dreamer. She wants to go on an adventure. She wants to do so much with her life. But unfortunately, that is kind of taken out of her control when these like robots come down and they take her away from her family and her friends and her country and take her to this new place where her life is no longer her own but she is now the body double to this evil cruel princess. And whilst Armani is there she has to sometimes play the role of this princess which means she has to get inside of her head and actually be her and in this process she starts to see what the world that she's living in is like and also some people in there that might be kind of nice to get to know and some that are very very terrifying and I really enjoyed it and I will talk about that more in my wrap up video. I am an automatic buyer of anything Patrick Ness and so I bought And the Ocean Was Our Sky which has some stunning illustrations. I definitely recommend picking this up. It is a retelling of Moby Dick but instead you follow these whales and they have the harpoons on their back and they are hunting humans and it is really really interesting concept and I really hope that the story is going to be just as amazing so it's told from a whale's perspective which is super super cool. Okay 
Okay, so this next one is very, very, very cool, and I am so glad that I found this book. It's basically like it was written about me, and that one is Pages and Co, Tilly and the Book Wanderers. I might be a little biased to say that it might even be like the best book in the entire world, but also like how stunning is this book with this dust jacket off? I love it so much. So this is a children's book, and it's very highly recommended for anyone who actually loves books about books, because this is basically set in a bookstore featuring book characters and these really, really cute characters as well. So in this book you have a young girl called Tilly, and Tilly lives in her grandparents' bookstore, and it's really, really cool, like the bookstore has like a cat and things like that, like, ah, it's perfect. And um, her mother had gone missing soon after she was born, and no one knows where she went, and her father has believed to be killed or died before he was even on the scene. So none of her grandparents really knew her father, and neither did Tilly. And one day when Tilly is sitting there, she finds an old box of her mother's books, and when she starts to read these books, she starts to see these characters, like Alice in Wonderland and Anne of Green Gables, and she's wondering, is she going crazy? Until she finds out that she is a book wanderer. A book wanderer is someone who is so involved in the story that they become part of it. So these characters start to come out to them, and sometimes they can even go into the books themselves. There's like a whole secret organization that's underground to do with book wanderers. There are rules to follow, certain ways you can book wander, and you have to basically be logged into that system. And upon this book wandering adventure, Tilly finds out that maybe there is a bit of a mystery behind the disappearance of her mother and whatever happened to her father. And so you go into this book and it is so sweet and so bookish and the character has my name and it was amazing and I really really enjoyed that one. These next two are bigger books that I'm also really excited for. First up we have Home Time. This one is by Campbell White. It is an illustration, like, graphic novel kind of thing, and I'm so excited to read it. It's actually pretty big, and so much detail and hard work went into this. So it's basically following these kids that, like, fall into, like, this alternative universe, and I think it's, it's, it's really cool. I do recommend that if you guys see this book on the shelf, pick it up, because the illustrations are fantastic, and the storyline is super, super sweet and cool, and has a very, like, 80s vibe to it as well, which I really, really enjoyed. Lastly, we have The Electric State. This one is by Simon Stalenhag, and this one is, like, an illustration and a story, and it is a really, really cool concept. So, it is based in 1997. You follow a young woman and her little robot as they walk through, like, the American landscape, where they, like, robots have just been discarded everywhere, and um, the consumer society addicted to a virtual reality system has just discarded all of their trash, and America is basically a shell of what it used to be. And you get to go on this adventure of, with her and her robot as they kind of cross America. And I think what's really going to make this story is the illustrations, and I'm actually really looking forward to reading it. So there you guys have the books that I have recently got, and I am really excited to get around to reading them. I actually read quite a few books, so I feel like I deserve to get this many, maybe. We will just ignore all the books on my TBR. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back again with another video soon. And hopefully you guys are doing really well. Let me know what you guys are reading down below. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys again soon. Bye. I think I actually cried in total about six times during this entire book. And it was amazing. One time she punched me in the face. It was awesome.